Greetings to uh, you guys here. Welcome to a new video. We're at the Goodwill today. This is the one in Tustin. Let's go inside, check it out. All right, let's look at the handbags. <laughs> I was like seeing this Mariah Carey song right now and I was just like, do I film or do I wait for after this song? Because this song is so good. But it's okay, oh my God, are those little turtles? <gasps> That's so cute. <laughs> Stop, is this an Alexander Wang bag? Oh my gosh, it is. I can already tell from the hardware. I can tell by the design, too. But, oh my gosh, it's only 10 bucks. Alexander Wang. Stop it. This is crazy. What good luck. It's in really good shape, too. I like this, like, snake. Fancy. They also have, like, this super cute little bag. Like... The brand is called Verbena. And eight dollars. It's cute. Oh, they're closing early. Oh, it's Memorial Day. Okay, we gotta be fast because the store is closing soon. But just looking through to see what we have over in the handbag. So far, we got the two. I think I'm gonna get the Verbena bag. I think it's pretty cute. And the retail is pretty expensive, but it's like a European brand. So. Look at this furry bag. Looks like a Patricia. Oh, it is a Patricia Nash. Oh, it's 15 bucks. Sold. Okay, I just found this Lululemon bag. We're finding stuff today. This one's in good shape, too. How much is this? That's not the price, is it? There's a price, 13 bucks. Not bad. Oh, this Hello Kitty little bag. Oh, it's $7.99 though. I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> why am I whispering? You will cover the rest. Oh, this is an interesting planter. It's damaged though, but it's cool. Let's see. Shop bag. Cooler. Chairs. More coolers. Air fryer. Vacuum. Glassware, vases and stuff they have over here. Shot looking glasses. Okay, too many people on that side, so I went around, but we're looking at the mugs now. Portland Starbucks. $3.99 each. A little pricey. Oh, this is Urban Outfitters. This is cute. $1.99. What is this? Oh, it's like paper mache. This little heart box is cute. I don't see a make on it. But I'm deciding if I should get this mug. It's pretty cute. $1.99 though. Oh, this is, hold on, what is this? Oops. Mm. It's not Starbucks. This is cute though. This is Target. Ooh, what is this? Fancy. I feel like these never have a make though, but I think they're just like vintage. If anyone knows what it is though, let me know. But I'm not gonna pick it up though. So I'm still deciding on this guy. Oh, the other aisle's free. Okay, do we see anything? Oh, this is cool. It's like one of those wine things. The Croft or whatever, $5.99. Mm, this would be a good vase. Okay, there was like not really anything too exciting over here. I think I have that face, or from the face bowl. Oh, it's one of those staplers. That's a shoe. How much is it? Okay, fix the staples. And let's see if it staples anything. Oh, it does work. Oh, whoops. Okay, let's see how much this is. This is so cute. I feel like my mom would probably like it. Right done. Super mom. All right. Any cool wine glasses? These are interesting. I've never seen any that look like that before. I always like to look through the glassware and see if I can find anything interesting. I'm literally looking underneath all the glassware. 
Oh, I gotta be fast. I forgot the store is closing. Oh, this is cute. Oh, this is Threshold. This is from Tarje. This kind of design is like very in right now. This is also kind of cute. As well. This one's made in Italy. Has a little crown underneath. Mm. Whoa, look at this. Party light. Oh, how cute. I love a good beaker. Found a hydro flask. It's a little dented on the bottom, but not the worst. No price on this guy, though. Found another hydro flask. This is a big one, but the bottom is super dented. Ten bucks. Hey guys, we are back at the house and I'm super duper excited to share with you guys what we ended up getting today at the Goodwill. I'm also going to show you guys what I ended up getting today over at Crossroads when I went. I did a film there, but I have been having a lot of fun, like, sourcing and also, like, downsizing my wardrobe and selling that to Crossroads. So that's just been really fun. So if you guys want to see kind of, like, what I'm doing with that, let me know. But I have been... Uh, kind of like going through my closet and eliminating the things I don't wear anymore or, or don't fit anymore and I've been selling them to different crossroads stores and also I've been looking through Goodwill clothing and that I like when I go to the stores and I pick up stuff that I think crossroads would like and then I sell it to them and then I buy more stuff <laughs> so it's been pretty cool uh, so let me know if you guys would like to know more about that but it has been really fun i've been doing it for like the past couple weeks i used to do it a lot more in the past and then i just stopped and i was cleaning out the closet and i was like you know what i want to see if i can sell some of my old clothing and it has been pretty good so it's been pretty fun uh but let's jump into what i got at goodwill because this has been probably one of my best one of the best handbag hauls from goodwill in a really really long time and it's nuts. I, I, I don't even know. Like, it, it, maybe it was because today was a holiday. Today was um, Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day to everyone. And I found some really great bags. I don't know if, if there just weren't that many people out, if there were a lot of people out. I don't know. Were there a lot of people out today? I feel like it was not any crazier than any other day that I go thrifting. But usually just, I usually go to these stores on weekends. And it's been, it was pretty much the same. So, I don't know. Let's jump into what I got though. Okay, they I got this giant candle and this is actually a pottery barn candle. The sticker is still on the bottom. This thing was a hundred dollars. So pretty crazy. Uh, I got it for 25 bucks. I love a good candle. This one has never been lit though. It is kind of dirty, but I'm just gonna scrape off that top layer and then call it a day and I think it's gonna be great um I also really like this vessel that it's in my mom loves planting cacti in like these shallow kind of bowls so it's gonna be perfect once we use up the candle we'll be able to use this bowl for either fruit or plants so it's gonna be amazing very multi-purpose and 25 bucks okay yes. Oh, you know what? It does smell. I thought it didn't. Is this... Oh. I think it's a citronella candle? Uh, crackle candle. Hmm. Or maybe... Actually, I do think it's citronella. Ugh. Okay. It's really heavy, too. <laughs> that was, like, my exercise for the day. So I got... I got that. And everything else is bags from that store. So let me start off with this one. I just thought the bag was so cute um it was $7.99 they wrote the price inside of course which uh, not my favorite and they did it with a sharpie too it's on suede also so um that's a little bit of a bummer so there's really no way to get sharpie off of suede that's just kind of there but the brand is called Verbena, V-E-R-B-E-N-A. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. I've never heard of it, but when I saw the bag, I was like, oh, this is pretty cute. And it reminds me of, what's that brand? Um, it kind of like looked Delvoish or like Philip Limish or, you know? It was just really cute. It looked like this. I like the color too. And 
it has a little top handle, crossbody strap, which is adjustable and removable. And what's cool is that it also has these loops in the back, so you can put the strap through there and wear it kind of like a body bag or as a belt bag. So it's very versatile in that way. And this is a magnetic snap. There's a little magnet down there. And then inside has just one pocket lined in suede. I'm gonna see if I can remove that Sharpie. It's, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Um, the inside is actually not in bad condition either. So other than that Sharpie, which is kind of annoying, that's it, so. We got that, a really pretty bag. It's like a European brand, and their bags are pretty expensive. They're like hundreds of dollars. So this was pretty cool. So there's that. First bag, and it was $7.99. Next up, I got this. <laughs> I saw this bag from far away, and I was like, oh my gosh. It, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the original cats, like the recording that was from like the play and I don't, growing up we watched that so many times and we knew every song my mom was very into musicals and my sister was like she did voice lessons and then she'd have recitals and one of the songs was is it I think it's Midnight from Cats and it was sung by Grisabelda I think in Cats right and I think in the new Cats adaptation which I never saw. I kind of want to see it, though everyone says it's awful. But Jennifer Hudson sings that song, and she's fantastic. And that's what I thought of when I saw this. It kind of looks like her jacket, or I don't know. But it's it's really fun, different. It looks like calico fur, and it's really soft. And it's actually a Patricia Nash bag, which is really cool. Patricia Nash. It's like regular leather, and just the top flap has the fur. They wrote in Sharpie, and this guy was $15. Actually, let me remove this sticker so that way <laughs> it doesn't leave like that crazy residue on the suede. And then at least it's not gonna have like some weird sticky residue on the suede. And it already has the Sharpie, so we don't want it to like be too intense, you know? So we'll remove that. Got this for 15 bucks though, which is a deal. This is a beautiful bag. The interior, is actually also in pretty good condition. Like that microfiber is looking nice. The zipper pocket and then two open pockets. I mean, this bag is in such great shape. It is crazy. And of course, the Sharpie is killing me. I wanna see what I can do with that, but Sharpie is just, it just really gets into the suede, you know? Oh, there's also a sticker on here. What is this? Okay, I'll remove that. Hmm, all right, so. Cat's bag. Now that song, like, is playing in my head. I know so many. <laughs> I could probably sing every song from the, um, almost every song from that movie. I can think of a couple just off the top of my head. And if you guys have watched Cats, let me know what your favorite song is down below. Is it like Midnight? Is it like the McCavity song? Like, I like that one. My cavity, my cavity, there's no... Oh, wait, these are the sunglasses. I also got two pairs of sunglasses, by the way, but I'll show you guys those probably at the end. Okay, and then I got this Lululemon duffel bag, which is amazing. I am really excited about this. Like, I mean, a lot of people are traveling again and also going back to the gym and all that stuff. And Lululemon, I am obsessed with their clothing. Like, I'm currently wearing Lululemon pants at the moment and their their bags are also awesome i know their belt bags have been like going viral recently like everyone has them and i'm like when am i gonna find one still haven't found one but i have this beautiful gym bag i kind of like it i mean i don't i probably I, I don't need a gym bag or but this is like a good overnight bag weekend bag you know um there are some marks in the interior but like this, you can just throw this in the washing machine or like clean the inside. But there's just like some slight discolorations, you know, probably from shoes that someone put inside. Um, but otherwise, I mean, this is in pretty good condition. I can probably just use like a Clorox wipe or something at the bottom of there. They did write the price though on the interior right there in Sharpie, but this one was a cool $12.99. This also has a laptop sleeve, which is pretty nice. A little padded laptop sleeve with a little snap closure and then there's a um ooh, 
items of importance. There's a little mesh pocket. You can put your charger and stuff in there too. So this is a really great bag. And what's great too is that all of the, like the, the leather accents and stuff are in good shape as well. So I'm pretty excited to have found this guy. There's a zipper pocket in the front. Oh, there's a little, it says H2O is good. Put your water in there. And it has, oh, it also has this. It has like this extra little snap thing right here. So it can like hold your bag together, you know, so it's not so exploding. And it helps keep the structure a little bit, I guess. So that's cool. So we got that. And then the last bag that we got from the Goodwill, which is probably the, like my, the bag I was most excited for. And I think I found this one first when I first walked in. It was, I think this one, this one was one of the first like bags that I found. And it is this Alexander Wang like a wallet on a chain crossbody bag. This bag is beautiful. I believe this bag retailed at like $700. And it's so cool. It is uh, black leather, like for the top flap and stuff. And the body of the bag is in this beautiful, like gray blue python snakeskin leather. Like it is so soft. This bag is in really, really good condition too. And I just love the color combo. We have a pocket here in the back. The top flap actually opens, there's a little, there's a little connector thing right here, a little closure. And then that pops up, that's, I love that. You can actually remove the crossbody strap too if you wanted to just use this as a large wallet or a clutch. And what's awesome is that these are actually compartments. So this has a little snap, this opens up, you got a pocket right there. And then on the other side, this also opens up, there's a little snap there. And then you have another pocket. So right off the bat, you got two pockets right here. You got that pocket in the back. And then this is nice and open in the middle. There, um, oh, this one was $9.99. There's actually a, the original sticker from the store is here. It was from Nordstrom. It has a Nordstrom sticker inside. Thank goodness they actually wrote on the Nordstrom sticker. So this was $10, which was a deal for a $700 bag for 10 bucks. That's crazy. You got card slots, more card slots. Then you got the change pocket right here. Everything is aligned in the, um, in leather except for like the front compartments in the change pocket but everything else is leather and it is in really great condition and then the python is in really good shape too and it's just so soft like it's unreal if you've ever felt like python leather it's unreal feeling it is so cool feeling and it's so soft i don't know but there we go alex look, this is such a cute bag i feel like and you can remove the strap like i said right you can use it as a clutch or as a wallet Great crossbody bag. Your phone fits inside of here, and it's a pretty good size. And then it's like an accordion style too, so it's pretty forgiving and will hold a ton, even though it is a pretty small bag. So that's that. Then we went to Crossroads, and then we got a couple more bags, and then I got some sunglasses. So let me start off first with this amazing vintage Dooney and Burke briefcase crossbody messenger bag it is in this amazing all-weather leather and in this it's this like beautiful tan color and then we have that golden brown contrasting leather trim we have the brass hardware accents we still have the original Dooney and Burke hang tag charm right there and then on the back we have a nice big pocket this opens up like this. I love this chunky like top panel too. And it does have the crossbody strap, which is adjustable and removable as well. Got this for $42.50. This opens up. Inside, it's unlined. It's just uh, suede. Pen marks right there. I'm gonna see if I can remove the pen marks. I'm crossing my fingers, hoping that we can remove them. I'll see what I can do um, about that, but Otherwise, like literally like the inside is in such great shape. The only pen marks are just right there in that little section. And then we have a zipper pocket, an open pocket, and then the little Made in USA tag is right here on that side. So this is amazing. I've, this is my first time, I think, ever getting one of these vintage um, Dooney and Burke all-weather leather briefcase bags. I've gotten other... Dooney and Burke vintage briefcase bag, but not in the all-weather leather like this, I think, at least. Wait, maybe. 
trying to think, but it's very rare if, though I'm, maybe I have found one maybe in the past. I know for sure I've found other styles, but anyway, beautiful, right? I, I love vintage Dunies, just like vintage Coach. They are so good, and I'm very excited about that. Then I have this little beauty, and this is a Michael Kors crossbody bag and it's in this beautiful light pink color with silver hardware the only thing is it does have i think these are just like little color transfer things it's in this like blue um right there and then there's a little spot right there i'm hoping this will come out this i know this is a new bag like a new style bag so the marks couldn't have been on there for very 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 long and this um, the, the finish on this leather is pretty forgiving, so I'm hoping it'll come out with a little bit of cleaner. But the bag is beautiful. I've had this bag once before, and it was in a... It was like a rainbow-colored print, which was really pretty. And I believe that one, though, was a coated canvas. This is a leather. And I love all of the hardware. It kind of looks like a cross between an Alexander um, Wang bag, like the Prisma that has the hardware on the bottom corners, and the Provenza Schooler PS1 bag. And it's just like a combination of both into this like cute little package. The crossbody strap is removable and adjustable. And then this opens up. There's a pocket right here in the front. And then inside it has some built-in card slots. And then just got some fabric lining. And this is actually a Michael Kors bag, like a Michael Kors collection. So it's not a Michael by Michael Kors. And I believe the retail of this bag is a couple hundred. I want to say like four or five hundred. And other than the like the, the little color marks on here this bag is in really great shape like the leather looks really good the hardware is nice and shiny it has very very minor like if any marks on it i feel like honestly it could have been just like brand new and it was just rubbing up against something which caused the color transfer so i don't know we'll we'll see if we can remove that and this was 55 dollars but she's a beautiful Cross your fingers for me. I hope we can remove this. Um, let me know down below what you would do. Like, how would you remove this? I have a color remover, uh, like a stain remover from Angelus, which I have been really, really loving. And I'm gonna see if I can get that pen mark out. I know rubbing alcohol sometimes will work as well as a nail polish remover. And yeah, so we will see what we can do with this. But comment down below what you would do. Okay, now I got two pairs of sunglasses. I have been going crazy with the sunglasses again recently. You guys have been loving them. You guys have been asking me to find more and I have been finding more and I just want to keep all of them, which is really, really bad. So I can't do this to myself anymore. I can't. Okay, this first pair, these are a pair of Celine sunglasses. They come with the case, which is awesome. It is missing the little, um, the little drawstring on it, but that's okay. Here are the sunglasses. I love them. They are in this really nice tortoise shell brown. And then it has um, the gold Celine. And then it has the little silver studs on the sides. And this is actually old Celine, which is really great. I love old Celine. And these sunglasses are so nice. They also do have, what is it called? They are polarized, which is awesome. I do like a polarized sunglass. Sometimes it makes it a little weird to look at your phone when you have polarized sunglasses, but these are really great. I love this style. I love the size. I love Celine sunglasses. They are so good. Celine sunglasses are some of my favorite. I just love the design of them, the size of them, and just like the feel of them are really, really good. So got these. I'm trying my hardest not to keep these. I think I actually think I have these same exact sunglasses, but in black. So I'm actually going to go see if they are the exact same ones, but got those. And then the next pair, I feel like I might actually keep this pair. I don't like I, I don't have any Bottega uh, sunglasses and I have been I'm, I've been obsessed with Bottega recently Bottega Veneta and I had a pair of Bottegas before and I kind of regretted selling them because I really did like them and I really like these so and what, what's great is they come with a case the case is really nice and then here are the sunglasses they are a pair of uh, what are these called um, like an aviator style they are gold frame and then it has like a brown lens and I love them. They are so beautiful. They're all gold. Even like the nose piece is also metal too, which is pretty cool. And I like too that it has like this little like, I don't know why I like it, but I like the little details. It has like a little, um, 
I don't know what you'd call that, some sort of texture on the very ends of the temples. I think that's, that's what these are called, right? Temples. And this is how they look on. Fantastic. I love them. And they do say Bottega Veneta on this side. It's just like embossed on there on either side. And they're just a beautiful pair of sunglasses. I mean, I do love an aviator style sunglass so much too. And I do really like a brown lens. I have been obsessed with like brown lenses and yellow lenses recently too. Yellow lenses, ah, uh, chef's kisses. I love looking through a yellow lens right now. It just makes everything brighter and more vibrant. And brown sunglasses kind of do the same, a similar thing. So, I don't know, I like them. Uh, yeah, so really, really great. These were a little expensive though. I think I got them for like 120. So it's gonna kind of force me to keep them because then um, I would have to charge a lot more than I normally would try to or would want to price these at for resale. So, but I really like them, so it's okay. Um, and the Celine's I got for around the same price as well, but Celine sunglasses, the resale value is I think a lot more than Bottega's anyway, so it's okay. But these are, yeah, I really like these. I love a good aviator too, and I don't think I have any aviators that necessarily look like this, so that's cool. But, the, oh, I forgot, I also got these shoes. I actually got these to resell to, uh, to Crossroads or a, like Buffalo Exchange or whatever, because I think they would really like these shoes. These are um, Unif platform sandals, and they're so, so tall. And yeah, these are a size 10 too, I believe. Yeah, these are US size 10, and they are really, really cool. Definitely too big for my mom, um, but they're definitely really, really tall and fantastic. <laughs> these are definitely like a festival shoe or like a, you know, like that, something like that, or like a going out, I mean, you can wear platforms everywhere, right? I wear platforms around the house. My platform, my platform Crocs, these are like everything. I'm actually gonna buy another pair of these because I need another pair because these are literally my favorite shoes to wear around the house. And I also want some to wear outside. <laughs> anyway, that is it for today. I hope you guys had fun checking out what I saw at stores and what I purchased. Let me know down below what your favorite item was that we found today. Let me know if you have found anything really cool recently at the thrift as well. What has been your best thrift find of this month so far? So when you see this, I think it's still gonna be May, but let me know what your best thrift find of May was. And uh, don't forget to tune in tomorrow, bright and early at 7 a.m. for a new video. I post videos every single day, Monday through Friday, and then Saturday night at 10 p.m. Every week I have a live sale for sure on the dot, um, and I do sprinkle in live sales throughout the week as well. Those are scheduled usually about a week in advance, so just check the video schedule. Just hit the video button on the... Uh, on my YouTube channel page, and then the scheduled live sales will propagate there for you, and you can see when the next live sale is. And if you can't make any of the live sales or missed one recently, you can always watch the replays as well. You can check in the description boxes of those videos, items availability, and their pricing will be there as well. And that is it. I love you guys so much. Hope you guys had fun today, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.